Never Stop Learning, week 196. We're going to take a quick look at how to create and apply your custom color lookup tables in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. All right, so here I've got this image of Freehand Profit. So shout out to Freehand Profit and the homies over at 8 and 9. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use this image to create a look. We're going to export that look out as a custom color lookup table and then apply it to another image from the same photo shoot. All right, so let's get started. Over here on the bottom right, I got my layers panel already ready to go. Now, it's really important that you have this background set up here already. Uh, you can tell it's a background because it has this set up in italics and you have this little lock right over here. All right, so over here, I got my adjustments panel set up. If you don't have yours here, just come over here to the window menu, scroll down to you find adjustments and click on that and that'll bring up your adjustments panel. All right, so the way we create a look is just add a couple of these guys on here. So I'm going to add a black and white adjustment back off on the opacity for this guy. Next, I'm going to add a hue saturation. And what I want to do is click on this little drop down menu and switch over to yellows and then just click on saturation and back off on it all the way. I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the colors. Now we got green activated. I'll switch back over here, find the cyans, back off on the saturation for that. Same for the blues. And then when we get to the magentas, we're going to do the same thing for that. All right, so now that we backed off on all these, let me get rid of this properties panel so you can see what's going on here. All I'm trying to do is add a little bit more focus over here to my subject. So we still got the reds right in here and the rest of it's starting to wash out. All right, so I can make another adjustment like over here into the black and white. I probably want to back off on this a little bit. All right, there we go. So I started to let some of the original colors show through again. I'm going to target the hue saturation and then back to the adjustments panel. In here, I'm going to add a color balance adjustment. So now we have three different adjustments. We could already export this. We could even export it after one adjustment. But I figured I'd pile on a couple of them to make it worth my while. All right, so now that I got the color balance up, let's uh, slide this guy over towards red a little bit. All right, great. That looks good. And then I'm going to slide this guy over to yellow a little bit. All right, cool. All I'm trying to do is trying to make this look as though it's like a different planet or something. Next, I'm going to bring up my levels. Now, if you need to set your black and white point, go for it. But at the moment, I think I'll blow them out. So I'm just going to switch over to the midtones. Now, click and drag on this guy towards the left to kind of uh, wash things out a little bit. Click and drag on it towards the right to start adding some contrast. All right, so that looks pretty good. I don't mind that I'm losing some detail in here. We could always bring that back later. All right, next, I'm going to apply a curves adjustment. Now, I could use this on image adjustment tool, come back into these pants, and then just open that up a little bit so we get some more detail in there. In these eyes, I'm going to click and drag that down a little bit. There you go. Great. So now I have my new look ready to be exported. The way we export this is you come over here to the file menu, scroll down till you find export, and then you want to choose this option for color lookup tables. When you click on that, it's going to bring up this window here. Now, in the description, it's going to take on the name of your document. Over here for copyright, you can put in whatever information you see fit. Over here where it says use lowercase file extensions, I got that option uh, checked. Under quality, you have this drop down menu and you can switch through these different options. I'm going to leave mine set to high. That one seems to work out pretty good for me. Now, over here in formats, because I am going to just leave this in the Adobe world, I'm going to leave this box checked for cube. If you're going to bring this outside of Adobe, you want to go ahead and check the rest of these boxes so you can make sure you have different formats that are going to be compatible for that software. All right, so I'm going to leave these guys in check because I know I'm not going to take it out of the Adobe space. I'm going to click OK to accept that. Now I'm going to go to the desktop uh, because I want to save these guys off. I'm going to create a new folder called LUTs for LUTs. All right, and here I'm going to leave this guy named as uh, Gary Ready. Save this one off, and we already have this saved off as a new color lookup table. All right, so I'm going to switch over to this other document, and we're going to apply it right in here. All right, so over here in the layers panel, I have my background set up. In the adjustments panel, remember, if you don't have this one up, go over to the window menu and choose adjustments. I'm going to choose color lookup, and right over here, the top option. You click on this, and it's going to give you a drop-down menu. The one you want to choose is load 3D LUT. It's going to open this guy up, click on desktop, LUTs, and find the one that we just created, which was Gary Ready. I'm going to choose open to accept that, and it's going to go ahead and apply it to this document. So let me get rid of the properties. 
Over here in the layers panel on the right, you're going to see we have this color lookup table and then we have our background. If I come over here, I could toggle the visibility of this color lookup. Now you see the original image. I'll click on it again and now you see it with the new look applied to it. All right, so that's it. That's how you create and apply your custom color lookup tables. One thing I do want to show you though is uh, I ran into a couple problems uh, when I was first trying to create them. So let me show you how to get out of those situations. Back to the first document. All right, so remember I was saying it's really important to have a background set up. Well, over here in your layers panel, if I click on this little lock, it's going to turn it into a regular pixel base layer. All right, so let's see what happens when I try to export this look. Over here into the file menu, scroll down to export, and then choose color lookup tables. When I click on that, I get this warning. Could not export color lookup tables because this document has no background. All right, click OK to dismiss that. And I just wanted to show you that you need to have a background in order for you to create a color lookup table. All right, so I'm going to hide these guys really quick. I'm going to command click on this little thumbnail. That way I'm selecting all the pixels in my document. I'm going to hit command C to copy them onto my clipboard and then command N to create a new document. Now, the important part right here is where it says preset. You want to make sure it sets a clipboard. Click OK. The reason that's important is when I paste in my image, it's going to fit in there perfectly. All right, so this is something else I ran into when I was first starting to create these custom color lookup tables. Take a look over here in the layers panel. I have my layer and I have my background. So let's go ahead and create a new look. Over here, I'm going to add black and white. I'm going to back off on the opacity. All right, that looks good. Next, I'm going to actually just go for color balance and I'm going to add blue. That looks pretty cool. And then a levels adjustment. We're going to make this a little bit darker. There we go. All right, great. So now I have this new look that I want to apply. Well, actually, I want to export this first. So we'll come over here to the file menu, scroll down, export, and we're going to choose color lookup tables. Click on that once and it's going to give us the color lookup tables. In here, we can make whatever changes we need, but I'm going to click OK to accept that. Go back to my desktop because that's where I have uh, my LUTs folder. Now I'm going to name this guy test. All right. It's going to just help me figure out which one's which. Click on save to accept that. And we already created that new one. So we didn't get any warnings because we do have a background. We're all good. I'll come back over here. Now I have this color lookup already. I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm going to click right here on this little icon. Click and drag it. And then just dump it over here in the bin. All right. Now in the adjustments panel, I'm going to click on color lookup. Load 3D LUT, choose that option. All right, now I'm gonna choose this guy right here for test. When I click on open, it's gonna go ahead and apply it, but it does not look anything like I thought it would. So I get a bunch of this, I think it's called dithering, all these little dots all over the place. Well, I don't want that. Now, the reason we're getting that is because over here in this document, we had this layer in here. So when you're exporting your color lookup tables, you wanna go ahead and make sure you don't have any regular layers in here, just your background. All right, so again, the way you would create that, let's come back over here to this document. I'm gonna deselect this guy. Let's get rid of all these guys first. All right, all I did was uh, shift click, drag, dump them in the bin. All right, you wanna right click on that layer, scroll down until you find flatten image. Now you have a background set up. Let's come over here to adjustments, click on black and white. It doesn't have to be black and white. I just been using that one to kind of get a good look really quick. Over here, this time I'm going to switch over to yellow. All right, I like that one a lot. There you go. So now we have enough to create a new look. Over here, file, export, color lookup tables. All right, I'm going to click OK to accept that. Desktop, LUTs, and this one I'm going to name yellow. All right, save this guy off. Let's come back to this document, get rid of this ugly color lookup table and throw it in the bin. In the adjustments panel, click on color lookup. Then you want to load that 3D LUT. Yellow is the new one we created. Click open and it's going to go ahead and apply this new color lookup table to our image. And there you have it folks. That's how you create and apply your custom color lookup tables in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014.